Hello everybody and welcome to another OCAD video in which I like to explain you the user interface in OCAD. I have opened the map in OCAD and uh, you see up there how the map is called and you see also the OCAD edition which I'm using and the OCAD version. Below there we have the different uh, OCAD menus. It starts with the file menu and goes on with view menu and so on and all the OCAD functions they are listed in these menus and for some functions there is also an icon you see on the left side and if there is an icon you can find this icon also in the toolbars so the toolbars are listed below the OCAD menus and such a toolbar you can also drag to a different position you can uh, drag it into the OCAD window or you can dock it to the left or to the right or the bottom as you like and uh, you can also customize these toolbars so for example here we have the editing and drawing toolbar and there are lots of icons and uh, probably you do not need all of them so I uh, switch off uh, the things I do not need or I hardly need if I need them I still find it in the uh, object menu so I can customize this toolbar and it gets uh, smaller and if I do it with all the toolbars I get a much better overview and I find the functions I use a lot I find them much uh, quicker and easier so I think it's good practice to invest uh, some time and um, to customize the toolbar you can also go to the options menu and in the OCAD preference you see the toolbars listed in the user interface and there you can also customize these toolbars probably it's easier in here and uh, switch off the things or the icons and functions you do not need a lot and you can also uh, deactivate the toolbars you do not need for example I do not need the mobile toolbar right now and also the sketch toolbar and this toolbar I can uh, switch off and you see it's uh, much easier now for me to find uh, my favorite tools if I zoom in into the map, I can uh, select an object here and you see the symbol is selected in the symbol box. You can also uh, undock the symbol box and place it somewhere in the orchid drawing window or you can dock it again here on the right side. If you have uh, selected an object, you see its symbol also down there in the lower left corner. You see its length that's for the line objects or the area for the area objects and if you now start to draw on a new object you can also see in the lower left corner how long it's gonna be and uh, in which uh, direction I'm, uh, I'm going to draw it. Then we have the coordinates shown here in the middle of the status bar and um, the, the view mode so I'm now in the normal view mode I can switch also to the draft mode that's basically the same as if I go to the view menu and switch the view modes there then last but not least we have the zoom level and some uh, settings about the visibility of background maps and layout objects and so on yeah that's basically how the user interface looks like in OCAD. As I told you, there are many functions in the menus and if you have a question to such a function, please go to the OCAD wiki. There is a direct link to the graphical user interface and you see all the toolbars and all the menus listed here. So there are all the functions if you have a question to any function, just click 
on the link and you will get a more detailed description in our OKTWiki how it works. That's it from this video. Thank you for watching and see you next time.